My name is Maximilian Friedrich. I'm a clinician scientist and postdoctoral associate here at the Center for Brain Circuit Therapeutics at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. Originally, I'm from Germany, but we recently moved to Brookline, close to Boston. I studied medicine in Würzburg, Germany, and um, in our final year of study, we needed to take clinical electives. And one of those clinical electives was neurology. And in this neurology elective, I saw my mentor at the bedside solving the most complex diagnostic riddles just with a good eye movement examination and vestibular function tests. And I was hooked. So I decided to go into neurology and my fascination became eye movements and the vestibular system. So vertigo and dizziness are among the most common medical conditions we encounter in daily practice. These patients suffer, but we don't have good therapeutic strategies. New technologies in neuroimaging and um, machine learning can help us understand and find new treatments for neurological disorders. My aim is to use these novel technologies and apply them in the field of balance disorders to define new therapeutic strategies. Another crucial aspect of vertigo and dizziness are eye movements. Our eyes really are a window into brain circuit function. We will use new techniques in machine learning to track eye movements from clinical videos in order to better understand the brain networks underlying vertigo and dizziness. I actually wanted to become a teacher when I was younger and I still love teaching and education but my way changed after high school. I had to undergo mandatory civil service in Germany and I ended up as a nurse assistant in a hospital. And working as a nurse assistant I saw the positive effects that I could have on my patients and this really got me hooked. My biggest inspiration are my patients but I have great mentors that help me along the way such as Mike Fox who's my PI here in Boston and his critical thinking and his interdisciplinary approach is just an inspiration to me. And also David C. from Hopkins. He's my superhero in eye movements and vestibular physiology. And I'm more than thankful to have him as my mentor who guides me along the way and helps me ask the right questions and reconsider the answers. So my number one advice to younger colleagues or even my younger self would be follow your passion and pursue the questions that keep you up at night and are the first thing you think about in the morning. When I'm not working on brain waves, I love to work on sound waves as a DJ, but I also love running. There are a couple of great running trails here in the Boston area and I need to see more of them. The Jungkarriere Förderpreis enables me to work on a project about the brain networks underlying balance disorders. And ultimately, I aim to develop new therapeutic strategies with this, which could help patients in the future. The Jungkarriere Förderpreis is an amazing opportunity for me to develop my scientific independence.